Welcome to Red's Game Development video, blog, whatever. Episode 3. I'm Luca Horat and let's get started. As you may, some of you may know that I've been totally inactive for the last two months. So I'll try to start again, start making video games and start making those videos. So uh, last time I said I'll be covering the tools that I use to make my games and the first and the main tool is my programming ID so let's start up code blocks oh you also probably noticed I'm on Linux it has this cool 3D effect um, on Windows I use the Visual Studio 2008 uh, not the Express Edition but the whole Visual Studio um, it is really great some prefer it, some not, because you have to have the Visual C++ redistributable installed to play games or programs compiled with Visual Studio. But that's not a problem these days anymore. Most of the computers have that installed and except for the computers in my school, they don't. So on Linux I use code blocks it's kind of similar has this workspace code editing stuff there is some code completion feature but I don't really use it much you don't really need it uh, yeah that's I know there's not much to say here for graphics editing on Windows I used Microsoft Paint. Yeah, it's a very simple tool, but it did the job. On Linux, I mostly use GIMP, Color Paint, and MT Paint. GIMP uh, just to change the format of the image for OpenGL to recognize it, and Color Paint to just draw stuff. I also, for this video, I'm using FFmpeg to record it. R the quality is really great and it works really nice, just terminal. And so this is color paint, really simple. But it has some issues, but it works. Time, one, ten minutes is... We still got time. Oh, uh, I use SDL and op OpenGL SDL site. Uh, I'm still waiting for SDL 1.3, and I use OpenGL for graphics. Some people prefer SFML because it's got OpenGL embedded in it, but I kind of got used to SDL. For sound, I use Dr. Peter's SFXR. Let's do a little demo here. Yeah, I use Vine to run Windows applications. This program is really great. It just creates a sound in an instant. Let's show a jump sound. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm not recording the sound, but. Ah, Jesus. Let's try to... Uh, and s it just generates some retro sound and you can easily edit it and then export it to WAV. It's really great. Works for me. I'm not really a sound editor, so... It's really nice. Um, I used to... Uh, time log my development time uh, for that I use time log it's a really simple program for from Petri Purho I probably misspelled his last name sorry um, you just enter the name of the project and just type what you're working on and then you can analyze it I used it for all my previous projects but I noticed that it doesn't save the times on Linux, so I abandoned this. 
Well, that was really fast. Uh, so let's uh, say something about my programming. Uh, in the time that I made all my games, uh, all those functions like uh, separated axis theorem and pathfinding and all those vector style mathematical function have been gathering one into one big function cpp file it's kind of big it's got a lot of functions and i really like it i use it in all my games and it grows bigger and bigger with every game also i will point out a really nice site it's called pixel prospector it's a new site it covers all the indie games free in the game free in the games and a new video has popped up it's called 235 free in the games in 10 minutes i must say it's really great the chip music is nice and just go check it out rate on some games to keep the site going because I kinda have the feeling that not too many people are on this site there are no comments and stuff so check it out oh also let's close this if you have been following my blog you should know that I kinda abandoned it a little but I'm trying to get back to it all the game developing um, well I don't have much more to talk about all I can say is that YouTube's been really pissing me off because I've been like trial and error for two days trying to upload a video and finally I did it with FFmpeg and Kid and Life for video editing so that's all I got to say for this episode I was kinda quick I thought that all those programs and stuff I wanted to show that it will take a little longer than just 10 minutes but well thanks for watching and goodbye